The trial for a former well-known high school wrestling coach is underway. The 75-year-old is accused of child sexual abuse. His victim, 17 years old at the time. This is tied to the Maryland Attorney General's Office investigation into the Archdiocese of Baltimore. Dennis Valera has a recap on the trial's first day. We still haven't heard of the acts themselves. Instead, prosecutors focused on framing Adelberg as a, quote, obsessive, jealous abuser. Adelberg's attorney tried to poke holes in the timeline of the alleged abuse and instead tried to prop up his client's reputation as a prominent coach. It's been more than a year since a grand jury indicted 75-year-old Neil Adelberg on charges including second-degree rape and sexual abuse of a minor. Now, a Baltimore County Circuit judge will be the sole person to decide if he's guilty. The alleged grooming and abuse happened between December 2013 to June 2014. In opening statements, prosecutors described the victim's upbringing, saying it was chaotic, unstable, and that Adelberg looked at him as a target, also saying Adelberg used his position to silence and control the victim. The two met at a wrestling tournament in 2013 when the victim was 17 and a senior in high school. Adelberg was the former head wrestling coach at Mount St. Joseph High School and a prominent fixture in the wrestling community. Prosecutors look to demonstrate their dynamic with two witnesses, the victim's younger brother and good friend. Both described text messages with Adelberg about the victim. Several were read aloud in court, including, he needs to work, he parties every week and has no money. Adelberg also allegedly called one of the victim's girlfriends a succubus, describing her as a bad influence. In emails supplied to an investigator from the Attorney General's office, Adelberg is said to have commented on the victim's phone use, saying, you're using the phone way too much. Testimony from that investigator revealed Adelberg paid for the victim's phone at that time. In cross-examinations, Adelberg's attorney, Joseph Murtha, said these texts conveyed concern, saying his client had a tendency to micromanage. Throughout the trial's first day, Murtha questioned the timeline, saying the victim has flat out lied about the events. He also said it was no secret Edelberg was involved in the victim's life and that his client is a very giving person, saying the victim is part of a community of many men, yet only the victim has alleged abuse. We did also hear from an expert witness today from Baltimore Center of Hope to speak on sexual abuse and grooming behaviors. Now, Edelberg is expected to take the stand in this trial at some point. Reporting in Towson, I'm Dennis Blair for WJZ. Dennis, thank you.